What's going on everyone? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. We have players getting awards, players predicting the future, and a coach that can do anything. Let's go. Have you guys ever just been sitting there and realized how good life is? Number 11 in the AP poll, a Heisman candidate, talk of college football, playoffs, and all sorts of awards. Wide receiver Dax Milne has been named to the Bolitnik Off Award watch list, and linebacker Isaiah Kafusi is the College Sports Madness Independent Defensive Player of the Week. So yeah. Life's good. Speaking of Isaiah Kafusi, did y'all see this? Catch me in the end zone tonight. The man called his pick six. Are, are you kidding? I wonder if any other players can predict their future the way Isaiah did. Neil, congrats on the win, first of all. I saw before the game that Isaiah Kafusi predicted a pick six, and then he obviously followed through with it. But he's not the only one that can make some predictions. I'm going to have you make a couple. Okay. Do you see Isaiah Kafusi having another interception sometime soon? Uh, he'll for sure have another one before the season ends. Uh, I don't know if he'll return it though. But for sure another one. I like the confidence. <laughs> We've seen a lot of newcomers step up. Who do you think will have stepped up the most by the end of the season? Given the opportunity, I think it just has to be the tight end group as a whole. Um, with Matt being gone and him being the offense, I think. They all of them for sure. Which coach do you think will finish the season having shown the best dance moves? Kalani Satake or Eliza Tuiaki? Um, it has to be Kalani, uh, but that's by default. But I'm going to give it to, to Billy. Oh. Uh, Billy, our equipment guy. Equipment yeah. guy with the moves. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye <laughs> out for those. Awesome. Yeah. That's all I've got for you. Thanks so much, Neil. Wait, thank you, thank you. I'm feeling great about BYU football as we prep for Western Kentucky this weekend especially after what I heard from ESPN's lead college football analyst, Kirk Herbstreet, said about Zach Wilson, this guy's playing as well as anybody in the country. So I like him. I like him a lot. BYU's legit. Now that's what I like to hear. While we're on football, let's take it to Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Okay, DJ, cut and go intro video. No, that's the wrong video. This is football. No, that's the right video. That's right, Coach Pope. That is the right video because it's time for some college hoops hype. Just four weeks from today, BYU hoops tips off. I hope you guys are ready because CBS Sports analyst John Rothstein tweeted out three key tweets full of info for BYU basketball. First, BYU versus Utah will be played on December 12th, which also happens to be the regular season finale for BYU football versus San Diego State. Speaking of San Diego State, that brings me to tweet number two. BYU basketball will begin a two-game series with San Diego State beginning mid-December. And finally, the WCC is exploring playing conference games in a bubble in Las Vegas. This decision will be made within the next two to three weeks. But hoops doesn't stop there. WCC preseason coaches poll is out and our Cougs have been picked to finish second in the poll behind Gonzaga. Alex Barcelo has also been named to the all WCC preseason team. There's a lot there. It's exciting that we are so close to the season but I want to go back to that video that we showed earlier because Coach Pope took on a lot of different roles. Honestly, I'm impressed. Is there anything the guy can't do? I'm convinced he could take on any role at any time in any position. All right, let's see those pearly whites. <laughs> Tonight, we celebrate the best of television. Image guidance stat. We don't have time for that. Oh, I can feel it. All right, listen up, y'all. I'm y'all substitute teacher, Mr. Garvey. NBA is literally knocking on the door of the college football playoff. I rest my case. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go give us the follow and uh, Coach Pope. Don't come for this job.